Hi bus, Objective Reef. Welcome back for another one of my cooking videos. We're using the Crossray Barbecue. Today, we have something very special. We have some beautiful brim and some beautiful baby octopus. Our octopus, we've got to thank our local fishmonger at Preston Market. Our beautiful brim, my uncle, Phil this hour, who caught this the other day from Locksport near Lakes Entrance. You might be asking what we're going to do with our beautiful brim. Our brim, we're going to grill it on the Crossray Barbecue, on the top grill, just up here. And the octopus, we're going to cook it on the bottom grill. It's going to take us around 15 minutes to cook both our octopus and our, and our brim. And we're going to plate it up probably three or four different ways. Our brim, we're going to complement it on a plate as a main meal that you can serve with your chips or your salad. Our octopus, we're going to serve it up as a mazé, or we're going to serve it up as a marinade with olive oil, origani and lemon. Okay, Jack the Greek has a very simple way to prepare any fish, whether it's a snapper, brim, or rainbow trout that you might want to put on the crossroad barbecue. Basically, grab your fish, put it on, a, on the bench, and give it a couple of slices just like that. That's it, either side. That allows it to cook all the way through without burning the outside and allows the marinade that you put on, which today, salt, pepper, oregano, that's all we're going to put on there, to work its way through to the meat. So there we go, beautiful. So just like that, just a couple of slices. These brim here are around 750 grams each. So they're not going to take more than around 14 to 15 minutes to cook on the Crossray barbecue. What I've done is, I've had the Crossray barbecue on now for, for about five or 10 minutes, warming up. And when we're gonna cook our, our fish and our, um, and our octopus, I'm actually gonna turn two of the burners off because we don't, wanna, we don't wanna overcook, but also burn our beautiful, delicate fish and octopus. Our oregano, we've gotta thank our friend Steve, who brought it back from Cyprus recently. Beautiful rigani from Cyprus, just like that. Opa, put that there. And there, opa, beautiful. A little bit inside. That's it, excellent, beautiful. Now, we're gonna be very careful. There is a little secret to always put a little bit of olive oil on your fish, just like that. Now what we'll do is we'll put it back in here and we'll put a bit of olive oil just like this on top of the fish, like that. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna make sure it doesn't stick in the barbecue because what we want you want to make sure that the skin stays on for the entire time it's cooking but also when we plate it up as well so let's turn on open up our our hood we'll turn the far one off and we'll also turn the far right one here at the front off as well and if you want to come in close and listen to this beautiful sizzle remember i did say it's going to take around 14 15 minutes each and we'll turn it over at about six or seven minute mark. Oppa, look at that. Look at that. Oh, you can smell the Mediterranean already. Beautiful, beautiful. And there goes the second one there. As you can see behind me, we've got our brim in there. We're gonna put the lid down in a couple of minutes, but let's now just clean up a little bit and prepare our octopus. Our octopus, not much to do to start off with. I've had it sitting in a secret marinade of milk and bicarb soda for 24 hours, just to break it down a bit, to make sure it's nice and soft when you're, when you're eating it and after you've cooked it. So there you go, it's a beautiful baby octopus cleaned. We're gonna put them straight on the crossroad barbecue. Oh, bass. Oh, just like that. Oh, bass. And we'll put another one just across there. And as you can see, and then you know, I've turned off two of the, of, of the, of the heat strips in the barbecue, the far back one and the and the front one on the left hand side. Oh, there we go. And one more. We'll put just over here. There we go. Just like that. Beautiful. We're going to put them in. We're going to leave them for around ten minutes, probably five minutes each side, and then we'll finish off the brim as well. So, running everyone. We've got the a brim on top. We've got octopus at the bottom. For the next five or six minutes, we're going to close the lid on the crossroad barbecue and let our fish cook in their own beautiful time. We've had our brim and our octopus in now in the crossroad barbecue for five minutes. Coming close, because as I said earlier, the octopus is going to cook 
a little bit quicker than the green will be. So let's have a look and see how it's all going. Now, five minutes on the cross ray barbecue. One turn over like that of your beautiful octopus. Give it another five minutes and it'll be all ready to plate up. Now, let me show you how beneficial Jack's little trick was earlier. The fact that I put olive oil on the grill, on, this, on the brim, I should say, when I put it on the grill, you will see now, look how easy it's coming off. And look how easy it is cooking. Without it, you worrying that it's actually gonna stick to the actual grill itself. So a little bit of olive oil, that's the trick from Jack the Greek. Before you put your fish on the grill, and you shouldn't have a problem with losing any of your skin. We'll see you back in around five minutes. We're ready to plate up our octopus. Just cutting up some parsley and getting ready to start plating up both our fish and our octopus. You would have noticed earlier, we've turned over our octopus in the crossroad barbecue, but we haven't turned over our fish yet. So, oh, listen to the birds. Fantastic. You have to love cooking outdoors on the crossroad barbecue. Listen to nature. Fantastic. Come in close and let me show you now. These are the tricks. Okay, so here we are. We have our crossroad barbecue. All our octopus is cooking away and it's getting ready. And it's all the way through caramelizing. So if you have a look and see, look at that. Beautiful. All this is ready now. Our octopus is ready. Just like that. Beautiful. Look at that. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to plate up our first bit of octopus. And we're just going to plate it up like that. So we'll leave it there for a second. Put a bit of pepper, just like that. A little bit of salt, like that as well. A bit of lemon, just like this. Beautiful. And of course, some beautiful olive oil. We'll put that on top, like that. There we go. Like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put that there. We'll grab it. Some lemon, put it on the side, just like this. Grab some of the parsley that I just cut from the garden, put it around, and there you go. That's your first mazette, where you're gonna plate up beautiful octopus that you can cook, cook on the cross ray barbecue. The second one is a little bit more challenging to prepare, but I'll show you how we're gonna do it now. We're gonna use this bowl over here, and we're gonna grab it just like that. Now, while that's resting for a couple of seconds, not that the octopus needs to rest, but we'll leave it there for a minute. Come in close and let me show you how our fish is going. And this is where it's going to be really interesting for you to see. Look at our beautiful brim. See how the eye is starting to change colour? That means it's getting warm enough and it's heating up and it's starting to cook through. So let's just grab it, just like that, gently with a spatula and turn it over. Opas. Just like this. Grab the next one. Again, grab it and just flip it over like that. And that'll take now around another four or five minutes to cook on the cross road barbecue. We'll grab our little extra bits of octopus that we have here that we've been cooking. And let me show you now how we're gonna prepare the rest of our, the rest of our octopus. So I'm simply gonna cut it around, cut all the legs off, just like this. Just like that. And we're going to plate this up in a bowl, just over here. And this is going to be a mezze that you can leave in, in the bowl for a day or two. With plenty of olive oil and lemon, again of course with the octopus. Because it's not going to go off or anything. It's a beautiful marinade, we'll keep it going. So, we put it all in, all the beautiful legs, just like that. Okay, little pieces like this as well that we had around the octopus when we were breaking it all up. Hoppa, look at that. Hoppa, lovely. You can't go wrong with a beautiful bit of octopus. We can't travel at the moment. So we're gonna bring some of the Mediterranean to your homes through the Crossroad Barbecue and Jack the Greek's cooking. So there we have it. Last bit here, just like this. And it doesn't take long. You notice on the cross ray barbecue, had it on for five minutes, turned it around, just like that.
cooked another four or five minutes on the other side and then started prating it up. So again, no magic secret, olive oil, just like this, all the way through, your meal, grab the lemon, give it a good squeeze, just like that. You can even call this, Jack the Greek, octopus salad. Put them down, plenty of salt, and plenty of pepper. And you can see we do this live because I also forgot to put the rigani or the oregano on our dish over here. So there we go, a beautiful oregano there and plenty of oregano in this dish just here like that. And of course, we have our parsley here, but this is the chopped one up. We get our parsley and put it on like that and you're going to say, what happens next? Well, the magic, the mixing, the marinating. All of it together. Now it's time to plate up our fish. We've had our fish in the Crossway Barbecue for around 15 minutes now. I'm going to turn off my burners because they're just about cooked. If you have a look closely, you can see how it's all starting to bubble all the way through. You don't want to overcook your fish. So let's just now get ready to plate it up. Beautiful. Look at that. Look how it just comes off straight off, off the grill on the Crossway Barbecue. Get the next one. I'll be straight there with you. Beautiful. There we go. So beautiful. So we now plated up our two beautiful brim. There they are there on the plate. Now we're going to slice some lemon, just like this. One, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, this lemon has come straight from my tree. So put a couple of bits there, just like that. Just there. We'll grab our olive oil now. Just give it a little bit of a, a sprinkle, just over like this. There we go, beautiful, beautiful. You can't go past some beautiful olive oil. Wash our hands and clean up there a little bit. So we've got our olive oil on there, we've got our lemon. Now we just want to put a bit of extra pepper on top, just like that. Some salt, just to finish it off. Got some oregano from earlier. I'm not going to put that on again. And now I think we're just about ready to plate up. One little bit more of our fresh parsley, just like that. Just like that on our fish. And there we go. Put this away, just here, underneath. Like that. Get rid of that olive oil. Clean up a little bit, just like this, and let's present what we've made this evening. On the Crossway Barbecue, we had cooked some beautiful brim, straight from Locksport, Victoria. Some beautiful octopus as a mazette that you can have with a little bit of olive oil, oregano, salt and pepper, and a beautiful meal that you can serve on the table to feed the family. Octopus marinated olive oil with lemon. All cooked within about 20-25 minutes. Thanks to our friends at Crossroad Barbecue and Jack the Greek. Oh bye.